All right, we're going to find the sine of theta over 2. I'm using t for theta and the tangent of theta over 2. And this all depends on the cosine of theta. So we're going to draw this because it's always best to draw it. And um, this is 90 degrees up here. And this is 180 degrees here. And they tell us that the angle theta is between 90 and 180, which puts it right here. And we always work with the angle between the terminal side and the x-axis. So this is theta. And we always make a triangle. And you always drop it from the terminal side to the x-axis. Always the x-axis. So you have a square triangle here. And um, what were we told? We were told that this, we were told that the sine of theta is 5 over 13. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. This is the opposite side. Sine is always associated with y. So this is the 5. And it's over the hypotenuse. So this is 13. And a squared, we don't know, plus b squared equals c squared. Turns out that this is 12. I found that by going 5 squared is my a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which is 13 squared. And so this is 25 plus b squared equals 169. And then you subtract 25 and you get that b squared is 144. And then you take the square root of both sides and you get that b is either plus or minus 12. And it turns out that because it is in the second quadrant, x is negative. So this is negative 12. y is positive. This is positive 5. And all we really care about to solve any of these is the cosine. So the cosine of theta is the adjacent, which is negative 12, over the hypotenuse, which is 13. And so now we just plug it in here. This sine is going to be 1 minus... And this is going to be, instead of the cosine of the theta, we put in negative 12 over 13. And um, what else do we need? I think the tangent. And so we'll go 1 minus the cosine. This is negative 12 over 13. And this is negative 12 over 13. So we replace every cosine of theta with negative 12 over 13. Now this gets trickier because we have a complicated thing here. So let's first do the sine. So 1 minus a negative 12 over 13 makes that become positive. And then this is over 2. So we need to represent this 1 here as 13 over 13, because we can. And now what we have is on top, this is 13 plus 12 is 25 over 13. And that's all divided by 2, basically over 1. Remember, when you divide fractions, you keep the top one. 
you switch to multiply, keep, switch, flip. And when you multiply fractions, it is the top with the top. 25 times 1 and the bottom with the bottom over 26, 13 times 2. And the square root of 25 is just 5. And remember, we have a plus and a minus in front of all of these. I keep forgetting to write. So this is plus and minus 5 over the square root of 26. So that is our sine of theta over 2. Now, is it positive or negative? Well, theta is actually, it could also be considered this angle. This is actually theta because it should have started here. So if you divide that by 2, I think it puts us somewhere in here. Either way, y is positive. So we're going to keep that the sine of theta over 2 is the positive 5 over the square root of 26. Now, to do the tangent, I need to do the same kind of work. So this was the sine of theta over 2. Okay, and now if I want to do the tangent, I have to do a very similar thing. Um, so this is going to be plus and minus. Um, we have some more of these complicated fractions. I'm going to start by making one here, 13 over 13. And that's going to be minus a negative, so it becomes plus 12 over 13. So that's the top. And then underneath that, I need to get the board to go down. Underneath that, so I guess I should make my abs or my square root bigger. I'm going to make this one. 13 over 13. And then this is a plus. And the cosine is negative 12 over 13. So now on the top, when you add a fraction, tops, we have a common denominator of 13. And 13 and 12 is 25. We've already done this one. But on the bottom, our common denominator is 13. But the top is 13 minus 12 is 1. And now if I multiply the top by 13, or you can say 13 over 1, and I multiply the bottom by 13 over 1, well, that gets rid of this fraction, and it gets rid of this fraction. And this becomes plus or minus the square root of what's left up here is 25 and what's left on the bottom is 1 which is plus or minus the square root of 25 which is plus or minus 5. So this is the tangent of theta over 2. Is it positive or negative though is the question. Well if it's here why is positive and x is positive, so it's going to be the positive. 